Hi, this is Jason P. Wilson, 01 X-Force, and uh, today I'm talking about um, the Bat Family of books that I read. Um, I really read the most of the X-Family and Bat Family, but I was making some cuts, and I cut most of the X-Men books uh, because they're the most expensive. <clears throat> All the Bat books, of course, DC is $2.99, draw the line, uh, made me want to keep all of those as well as add some. So we'll go ahead and uh, start with the best uh, and that's Batman uh, Detective Comics. If you have not been reading Batman Detective Comics, uh, you're really missing out uh, and I would definitely recommend getting the past uh, few issues of this uh, new story arc with the creators of uh, um, the, uh, the American Vampire uh, series. It is you know, at first, you know, I hadn't really read American Vampire. I've seen the artwork. It wasn't really, you know, thought it was much of anything. I, I knew it would be good, but I, it didn't really draw me to the series. Um, but from the very first issue of this comic, I was absolutely in love with uh, this team of writers on this, uh, particularly Detective Comics. I mean, he, he, it, it fits, he, they fit Batman very well but it seems to fit the Tet of Comics in general even better. Uh, I definitely recommend you, anyone and everyone picking up either the singles or the the uh, trade when it comes out. I know DC doesn't really come out with trades very often, but they'll come out with this trade. It's, it's that good. Um, <clears throat> next would be another very important uh, read uh, book to pick up, and that is... Um, Batman Incorporated. Uh, it's a very different pace and a different feel for a Bat book. It's Grant Morrison, so even if you don't like Grant Morrison, though, I think you'd enjoy this book. And it is definitely uh, a must-have if you're following uh, the Bat uh, family because it's so important and it connects to all the other uh, comics. And if you're only going to read a couple. Uh, I would recommend this being one of the couple that you read. Uh, the other one being Batman and Robin, which I'll get to later. Um, next is uh, Batwoman. In fact, that epi that um, issue that I just showed had Batwoman in it. Um, this one is a definite... Even if you don't read any other ones and you don't want to even be involved in the uh, Batman family story, get this book. This is definitely... A book you want to get uh, beautiful beautiful triple-a art uh, beautiful uh, writing um, probably if you're just talking about one comic to get besides detective this is it uh, this is the zero issue the first issue hasn't even come out yet and I'm just saying this because even though it's only on zero issue I'm telling you I read uh, this the arc in the Bat um, Batman Detective, and it's going to be great. There's just no doubt about that. The next one is a comic that might surprise some people, uh, Batgirl. Um, you know, I always wanted to read Batgirl. I heard it was great, but I never picked it up. I finally, you know, went ahead and just went for it. I went and got the back issues and um, <clears throat> picked up every single one. Uh, put them in my comic box and uh, you know one uh, evening I just pulled one out started reading it pull out another pull out another pull out another I literally went through the all the way up to the current issue uh, in one sitting it, it was that good and when I say good I mean fun uh, it reminded me of why I love comics and you know I'm a six foot two 200 pound guy who enjoys working out uh so you know if i'm you probably wouldn't wouldn't notice if i'm sitting there reading a comic uh you might look at me twice if i'm pulling this one out because what you're reading back girl yeah yeah i'm reading back girl uh because it's that good i mean stephanie brown is a fun fresh a breath of fresh air uh in comics especially the Batman uh, universe, because it can be dark uh, most of the time. But with Batgirl, it's light, it's fresh, it's fun. Um, if, if you're looking for a fun read, 
but it's still interesting and good writing and good art, just fun. Pick up Batgirl. You'll you'll thank me later. Uh, which brings me to my next one. Reading Batgirl was pretty much the reason why I picked up Birds of Prey. <clears throat> um, I so much enjoyed the uh, relationship between uh, Stephanie Brown and Barbara Gordon, uh, who's Oracle. It made me want to pick up and start reading Birds of Prey. <clears throat> and since this whole two ninety nine thing, you know, it's been two ninety nine. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna re- I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another DC book. I'm gonna pick up Birds of Prey. Did the same thing I did <clears throat> with Batgirl. I got every back issue, and uh, even though I didn't you know, sit through and get all the way caught up at once with Birds of Prey because it's not as good as Batgirl, in my opinion. It was still a great uh, read because it connects well with the other books that I'm reading. And, of course, you know, I really do enjoy Oracle. Uh, now, this... You know, there's a few things I don't care about in the book. I could I could care less about Dove and Hawk. Hawk, even though he's interesting and character, and so is she... You put those uniforms on, and it's hard for me to take them seriously. Uh, everyone else in the book is great, uh, especially Black Canary and the Huntress. They are just phenomenal in the book. Um, it also connects quite a bit with the other, you know, Batman Incorporated connections. So it's it's definitely a nice one to add if you're reading Bat books. Uh, the next one is really a must read. One of the two you'd have to read if you want to. Um, really uh you know read batman that's batman and robin um anyone who's been reading batman and robin knows what i'm talking about some people love it some people don't uh there's actually now there's there's a new team writing it and i think maybe some of the things people didn't like in the beginning which i personally loved they might like it now um uh for me this book has just gotten better and better. Some of, some of the issues were a little drawn out, like with that uh, villain with the big hole in their head. Uh, some people hated that. I didn't hate it necessarily, but I didn't really care for it. But boom, right now they're back at their best. Uh, definitely a good time as well. Start picking up Batman and Robin. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick up the 21 issue. I think I would go 20 or 19 um, if you want to jump on. Uh, next book is Red Robin. Uh, this is another one I picked up same time I picked up uh, Batgirl, and I just picked it up because I heard a lot of people liked it. Now, where Batgirl was a f- breath of fresh air, this is still a little darker. Uh, I, I, I instead of picking up the uh, trades, I mean the uh, the issues, uh, the singles, I picked up the first two trades, which which put me exactly where I needed to be because that brings you up to to, to thirteen, and then I picked up obviously thirteen all the way to current. Um, you know, these are more of like one shots and sometimes, uh, Stephanie Brown and, and Batgirl will be a one shot deal. Like it's story arc is this one comic. Uh, but there, there are definitely a few of those in this series. And if you, another, if you want to pick up a series just to, to read and, and enjoy Red Robin is a great one. I, I, I love these characters. That's why I picked up Red Robin. I mean, I'm, I'm really into, um, Dick Grayson being a new Batman. Of course, I love Bruce Wayne. Who doesn't? But I'm really enjoying Dick Grayson being a new Batman. And so I really enjoyed uh, uh, Tim Drake becoming his own. So it's a definite uh, great comic to be reading. Uh, Next up is going to be uh, Batman, the Batman ongoing series. This, of course, is um, Dick Grayson's Batman. If you if you want to read, uh, you know, uh, Bruce Wayne's Batman, you want to pick up Dark Knight. That's the individual stories uh, that aren't connected at, right now, anyway, to to the whole uh, incorporated. But Batman, uh, this issue here is, is a new uh, team. Uh, a lot of people love this artist. I actually like it. I haven't really read this artist too much, uh, too many books with this artist in it. Uh, I can't say that that I don't enjoy it. it it's 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 interesting. Um, a lot of people didn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. I wouldn't say that it's bad. Batman in general has been not a must-read uh, for a long time, I don't think. Um, but I do enjoy Dick Grayson since I'm a fan of his, and there's no like he's not doesn't have a Nightwing comic anymore. For me, it's it's one that I want to keep, and I I know it's going to get better soon. 
Uh, and the last one uh, really isn't connected to the Bat Family, but I actually started reading it because it had a crossover with um, with Red Robin. And right now, in fact, this is a continuation of that crossover. Uh, Teen Titans. Uh, I wasn't reading Teen Titans before, uh, but reading the crossover with Red Robin, I really, you know, it was fun. I enjoyed it. And uh, I picked up the second one as well because it's kind of a continuation. And uh, even though it's not part of the Bat Family, I just threw it in there at the end here because it did have to do, the story arc right now had to do with Red Robin. So uh, th those are my books. And, uh, you know, feel, feel free to leave me comments and, and let me know if you like these books and uh, if there's anything you do or don't like about the books that I'm reading. Uh, I'd be very interested to, uh, to hear from you. And thanks for watching.